Hello and welcome to my very brief tutorial on how to make a skeleton mesh object um, in Spark AR. And so here I've got Cinema 4D open. Um, it's got a cube that I'm using as the mesh. It's got a skin here generated from that cube and then all of these joints. Um, so that's what we're going to create. I'm going to delete that. I go into that animate menu, any of the menus, it doesn't matter. And add a cube here, add cube, and then go back to rigging and the layout. And now that we've got this cube in the scene, I want to make sure I'm going to live select and I can just grab one of those edges and pull it out. I could also click T hold down T and translate the whole thing. Um, oh, we're gonna click that guy again, pull it out, and press O to center. Oh, and now I've got it all centered. And so what um, Spark AR needs is more than just one segment to be influenced by the bone. So this represents the polygon sides. You want the segments of that object that you've just added to have enough sides that the bones will have something to attach to. So I've increased the side, sides here by 10, um, and I'm going to now make that parametric geometry editable um, by clicking here or by selecting the object and clicking C. So now you see the icon change, it's editable. Um, you're gonna go and select the joint tool, um, which is here, this icon, or you can go to characters, um, and it's right here, joint tool. So I've got the joint tool selected, and I'm gonna hold down command and select my first point to place the root bone, the next bone, and keep on clicking with the command held down to add more bones. So I can also adjust the bones by selecting the joint here and just manipulating it as long as I've got the joint tool selected. And so now I'm gonna take all those joints and I'm going to actually move them right up against this um, mesh I'm going to skin. So in this case, it's the cube. And I'm going to delete that root null because that actually is going to be the main problem in Spark AR is those root nulls um, make the bones not uh, attach to the skin. So now I'm going to go into character. I've actually selected all the bones, so let's make sure you do that. So command all, um, command A, and then I'm going to go to bind, and I'm actually going to find settings. And here, this is usually clicked, um, and joints only is not. You actually want to select joints only and deselect keep empty. This makes sure that only joints are getting binded to that mesh object. And click OK. And you've now bound your first 3D model. Um, and so we want to select all of these uh, weight influences again, so select all, uh, command A, and go back into the manager, weight manager, um, which in the game menu is actually open right here, but showing you that. Um, make sure all these joints appear, that they all have different um, influence for text influence and that's indicated by separate colors. Um, you then want to go into auto weight and click calculate. And usually nothing happens, which is actually good. If something happens, it means that you um, probably had too many faces or there were problems with your mesh. So here it stays the same. I've um, Normalize the weights, select everything again, and go to export. 
and Collada 1.5. Then I'm going to change the name newest practice and know where I save it. Save it in levels. This goes unchanged. And now we've exported it and we're going to open up Spark AR. This is version 70, the beta. Um, I'm going to go and just select Add Asset here and Import for Computer. And it opens up where I was. And this is the newest one. Open. And we're going to drag it up into the scene. We can see here, it already shows that we have a skeleton, and that skeleton is purple, so that means that it's recognizing it. You can also look in the hierarchy. This is our um, skin object here. Uh, this is the parent model, and then the skeleton here. And it's always good to also rename these joints um, as you start to work with them. And you can see everything was successfully imported. And that is the end of my very tiny tutorial on skinning for Spark AR.